I mean, I know you can't see them all that well because of the smoke, but these are the minarets of the Ritter Range. And the ones to the very right, kind of the sharp spire, that's kind of where Minaret Lake is. So we're heading that direction. got really steep, but getting pretty close to Minaret Lake. All right, I think Minaret Lake is just right through this little pass right here. So we gotta climb up that, and we'll be at the lake. Still heading up the trail. This is a tough hike. And I have a pretty cool, smoky view of the minarets. Here is Minaret Lake. This is Minaret Lake proper. What an interesting, amazing view. The smoke kind of gives it its own kind of uh, apocalyptic charm. <laughs> yeah, so I'm uh, kind of going down this way. The trail goes right here. You can see it going that way. And it just kind of contours the shoreline. And eventually I'm gonna loop around this right here. And um, off in the distance is a little traverse I may or may not do today. I'm either gonna camp at Minaret Lake on the other side of this uh, kind of rock formation, or I'm gonna camp at Iceberg Lake, one of the two. So it's only uh, 2.30 or so in the afternoon, and there are quite a few people already camping at Minaret Lake. So I've decided to continue on, and I'm gonna try to do the traverse over to Iceberg Lake. I hear it's pretty sketchy, class two, class three, somewhere mixed in between there, lots of boulders and talus. Super, super duper steep. This is like a 40 to 50% grade. <laughs> okay, so I just climbed up some really gnarly, kind of class two, class three, partly scrambling, partly on my feet, down that way. And, uh, can't really see the lake, but it's down that way. I'm walking just a little section in between Minaret Lake and Cecile Lake. It's kind of a boulder field. But it's not bad. There is kind of some intermittent trail through here. 
That was some incredibly steep stuff I just climbed. I went from about 9,800 feet to um, about 10,300 feet in a really short distance, like a, like a quarter mile. Yeah, it was just like straight up. All right, so I think I've reached the high point, about 10,300 feet. These are the minarets, all smoky. Here is Cecile Lake. I'm going to be going down this kind of a east or right-hand side shoreline. It's kind of a boulder field. So I'm going to have to walk through that boulder field tomorrow, which is kind of why I stopped when I did. So I figured, well, I'll just do that tomorrow first thing in the morning. It's getting a little bit late in the day and I don't know how long that'll take. But the route goes through there and uh, there's a, like an outlet stream, like right there in the center. And we're going to kind of go down around the side of that. Okay, now that the sun has gone behind peak 12276, we can actually see it now. It's kind of this eerie look to it with all the smoke. It looks pretty cool if you ask me. What a beautiful lake. Cecile Lake. And uh, here's this kind of, I think it's called the Volcanic Range. I could be wrong about that, but this is kind of on the other side of my campsite. So I have mountains surrounding me. More minarets. I've never seen anything quite like this. There's kind of like a wisp of smoke going through the pass in front of us. Would you look at this? It is very windy out, it's still kind of smoky. First, the wind drove smoke into my campsite, and now it's driving the smoke out of the area, so it's kind of starting to clear up, which is nice. It was a little bit chilly though. What a view. Here's a morning view of Mount Ritter. has already been pretty sketchy. I'm walking through a boulder field right now.
One last look at the minarets. So, this has been pretty gnarly so far, but nothing that made me fear for my life yet. This is a pretty spectacular view. So this down here is Iceberg Lake. It doesn't look to be icy. And uh, I'm about to drop really steeply down this trail, probably a 40 to 50 percent grade. So I don't know how super obvious it is, but you can kind of see a line contouring through there. So there is kind of a trail to follow. Here's the outlet stream for Iceberg Lake. This traverse has been described by a lot of people as uh, something that takes all day. Uh, I think it's a bit of an exaggeration, but it's still very slow going. So I just hiked down that and that pitch was about probably 45 to 50 degree angle. And uh, I had to slide down on my butt. It was very, very loose. Another look back. Um, this boulder field is a lot more gnarly than it looks. It's been very slow going. And I'm a lot closer to the bottom now. This is just a spectacular view. The sketchy hiking is worth it. This is the way I'm going. This is the other side of the minarets. I just hiked up all of that. I just got to the trail. And uh, that was that really steep pitch right there. All right, so I just came down this right here. And I kind of made my way down this boulder field all the way up there. That, where I'm pointing right now, is where it was really, really steep. So this whole section along Iceberg Lake took me about 45 minutes to hike. There was a lot of hand-holding, but uh, now I'm on solid trail. One last look at Iceberg Lake and the minarets, one of the most beautiful places I've ever hiked. And uh, I think the trail goes down this way towards Ediza Lake. This is Ediza Lake. A little bit smaller than Iceberg. Looks like a pretty place to camp. <laughs> 